The house was originally built in the mid 1700s, the main portion. It was um, part of a fort during the Revolutionary and French and Indian Wars. But Dr. Sneed bought that portion of the house, that cabin, and several hundred acres uh, in 1835 and built the rest of the house around it. But this would have been where Betsy Sneed had her um, ladies visit while the gentlemen were next door in the smoking parlor. So this would have been the gentleman's smoking parlor during the day when uh, Dr. Sneed had the house. Um, he would entertain in here. He was on the for first, he was on the first board of uh, trustees of Emory and Henry College and the first campus doctor there. The house was used as a uh, field hospital during the Civil War, and the cellar was used as a makeshift morgue during the winter months. So this was the makeshift morgue back in the day. It's not as large as you would think it would be, but it's very tiny. Limestone foundation. And very creepy. Um, we have had a sighting of a doppelganger in this particular room um, several years ago. Then of course we have the kitchen. This um, was an add-on when the Masons had the house. Um, they owned the house from the late 1880s till the late 1980s. Um, they purchased the house after Betsy Sneed died. And they, um, we have smelled food cooking and hear dishes rattling in this room. You know, you just saw a ghost. So um, Betsy has been sighted a lot in this house. She's the woman in blue. We do get a lot of, um, we do paranormal investigations up here. We do get a lot of evidence of, um, of Betsy Sneed. She, we have caught um, EVPs with her speaking. Um, we've caught EVPs of the children and um, of Dr. Sneed. So those seem to be the four primary spirits in this house. 